I'm Blaine Phoenix. And I'm Julius State. Welcome to the next episode of Super Ascension, everybody. Not only do we have six matches for you tonight, but we've got two championship matches and two more that have championship implications. Julius, a huge night. Oh, man, that is some good stuff tonight. We've got to get ready. We are pumped like the cloud tonight. Look at him. Let's get rolling with the number one contendership for the goddess title. Yeah, I, I still can't believe that the, that the goddess title is suddenly up for grabs between one of these two women. You know what? I don't really care who wins this match. Honestly, I hope neither of them get the goddess title. Well, maybe. Maybe there will be a double count out and they'll just award the title shot to Cleo and Carnelia. And then uh, they're both the champion. And then this isn't going to happen. Well, all right. First competitor. Violet, mm -hmm. rolling on down to the ring, of course, in her motorcycle of doom. Yeah, uh, steal the keys to that thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Violet and Cleo Freed kind of kicking their feud into high gear recently, but, uh, well, Violet finds herself now not needing to contend with Cleo, well, at least for now. I'm sure Cleo has uh, revenge in the back of her head, Julius, or at least you do. I know you do, but I wouldn't blame oh, you. Oh, no, it's just... Well, she's got she's got the same idea, so. Ah, I see. I all yeah. things considered, though, this uh, she got a fight against uh, this woman right here, Denise Moore. I'm not sure why Denise even bothered to get in the way of the disciplinary committee and decided to get her hands dirty, but she got her hands dirty. So. <laughs> well, like I said last week, maybe it was all just a ploy to get herself back into the goddess title scene. I mean, she lost her rematch. So there was nothing left. She had, uh, you know, no luck in the Artemis games last month as well. That would that would imply that she knew all along that whoever won that tag team match would be propelled to become the number one contender depending on who wins this match tonight. Well, there's some crap going on around here, Julius. I guess I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Maybe she made a deal with Midori Ryukami, I bet. Oh, no, don't bring him <laughs> up. He is not even here tonight. Really? I hear he's uh, checking out a new resort downstate. I'm sure a he resort? Just, and I'm sure he just, I don't know, if not purchased, maybe rented a fancy suite or something, thanks to all his new championship earnings. <sighs> I I thought that he would... Okay. You know, I, I, thought, maybe... I thought a champion had to defend once a month. Where the heck is he with his next global title defense? Shouldn't that be on the show tonight? Hey, I have no idea. One thing I can say for certain, though, since he's not here, I guess that means there will be no suffering for the Rangers, which I actually say is probably for the best. What Rangers? I don't even see anybody backstage in regard to the duality Rangers. Ugh. I'm just saying, dude, they suffered enough. I had a text saying, would uh, Denise really fight her longtime ally, Sin? Are you kidding me? The way, the way Denise vulturize this goddess title that she helped invent. She's uh, probably would, got I... three different ways to stab Cinna in the back. Although I wouldn't be surprised if Cinna had four ways to stab Denise in the back, so. Oh yeah, Denise, uh, Denise may be be a bit of a backstabber, but Cinna, I hate to say, she has invented the art of backstabbing. Sometimes quite literally, depending on uh, which finisher she wants to use. The backbreaker, the backbreaker, gutbuster. Uh -huh. Somebody's back is going to be hurting tonight, and oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice German suplex there by Violet as she's starting to get yeah, rolling here on Denise Moore. Yeah, she didn't copy the. She didn't copy. No. No, nope, I'm not calling it. Oh wow! Oh. Missed the frog splash there. Ooh wow! Long legs with the kick. Denise though flips her over. Lots hmm. of exciting action to get to tonight, Julius. Han yeah, Cole Wright's supposed to finally get his hands on Mayor Duncan. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Here they come. Mayor the Duncan didn't do anything to Han Cole Wright. I'm not sure why Han is even after the mayor right now. Well, let's worry about that later. Hold on, because uh, as I start to talk here, Denise... Oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay. That was a flying cross buddy up from the uh, middle rope up on the outside. Goodness. Well, that's one way to get the job done. And he's taking control here. Whips Violet back yep. into the ring. 
Yep, looks like Denise has no problem going all out against the woman she literally just helped in that tag team match. Well, allies become enemies very quickly when championship gold is on the line. Oh, yeah, you know, human nature to say, ooh, shiny, I must stab you now. Well, I don't think that's exactly how it goes, but they uh, take, take, take the metaphor. Oh, look at what's going on right now. Look at Denise using her knee on the face of Violet here, stomping her down, going all out with the ruthless. Goodness, look at that. Yeah, Violet had a nice flurry after getting back into the ring, but uh, now Denise taking back control here. Going to slam her face right into the mat. Oh! She loves that move. Yeah, sadly, no uh, Cornelia or Cleo tonight, but... Uh, <sighs> yeah, well, step up in Zaguri there. Got uh, text talking about uh, Han possibly going to teach the mayor how to believe in his own abilities instead of shooting. Just oh god! Speaking of own abilities, Denise just yeah, cover one, two, three. Wow. And, Goodness! Uh, maybe we did just find out exactly what's going on here, Julius. One discus clothesline, and Denise Moore finds herself back in contention. For that goddess championship. This is definitely what she wants. Yeah, she, yep, she just got bounced right back into it. Looks like we're gonna have uh, Denise Moore versus Cinnabon, huh? Jeez, talk about implosions here. Looks like a, I, another popular, well, maybe not popular, but uh, another big team here in PDW might be fighting one another soon, and Denise and Cinnabon. Oh yeah, I can. I can't wait for these two to clash. I don't know why, but I want these two to clash for some reason. Well, how is this one gonna go? I, I mean, Denise has the title shot, but uh, what does Cinnabon think of this? All right, we've got us some uh, friendly competition here. Just a uh. triple threat match with nothing on the line. Just some competitors wanted to have at it tonight in front of the crowd, show what they love to do best. Yeah, we got one half of the Flying Roses. This guy, Kenny, with the friendship speech to Gee. That's right, Kevin I... Maction. Not successful in the guest stall gauntlet, but maybe he'll be successful tonight. Oh, boy. We'll see what, what's going to happen for him tonight, because uh, he could have to bring his A game after that. After that loss, tag team loss. Indeed. Well, uh, one of Ken Maxson's friends. Oh, oh well. come Wait. on. Why is the Munchkin here? Speaking of. You're you just going to complain when he competes now? He's just here to compete, Julius. He is the Munchkin. He is a supporter of the Phantom Thief. Well, the Phantom Thief, as you call him, Mace Atlas, set to defend his Adrenaline Championship here tonight, everybody. We... We did get the paper signed earlier before the show. It will, in fact, be Mace Atlas versus Sumanon. Those two to finally settle their differences tonight. I see. Uh, a sumo wrestler is probably going to have to be the one to liberate the, ti the title from the Phantom Thief. Okay, sure. Yep, sure. Well, all right, Young and Near, Ken Maxion, and a man who really put himself on the map recently. Oh, hey, it's Wrangler Wrigley coming from another part of the world. After all of that exploring, he literally hiked here, of course. He's always willing to hike here on foot. Well, seemed to do wonders for him on uh, his last match. H wonderful back and forth against Santa Sturgeon in which Wrigley uh, managed to pick up the huge victory. His Twitter yeah, got was... blown up. Everybody realizing Wrangler Wrigley actually a force to be reckoned with here in PDW. That man has wrangled all sorts of the, some of the world's dangerous animals. Yeah, it would be... Uh, I, I am glad that the world is finally starting to see that, that he has credibility here. I used to watch his show back in the day. Oh, you, huh? Well, yeah, I actually am a fan of this TV show. Huh. I, think that would be I a mean, thing. come on. Like, it's fascinating actually getting a chance to 
see him handle some of the most dangerous beasts in the world, you know? Some of the fan most fantastic beasts that no man would even think about trying to wrangle. And this guy can handle it like a champ. Well, you're indeed right about that, Julius. But as we begin here, it looks like uh, Gungadir yeah, is going right after Ken Maxion. But now yep. he turned his back on Wrangler Wrigley. Yeah, put him back in the jungle. Put oh. that munchkin back in the jungle. He is a munchkin. And by munchkin, I mean a cat. He's a cat now. Oh, he's a cat now. I see. Yeah, he, he's a tiny little cat, you know, that, that, that got like, he's a domesticated cat that got declawed. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, he, he just hissing all over the place. He can't go ahead and do any kitty scratches or anything. That's why I say he needs to be put back on the shelf. I don't think he's hissing all over the place. I think he's princing all over the place. There's a nice enziguri to the back of the head of uh, Wrangler Wrigley. Meanwhile, Ken uh, Maxion worming his way back to his feet. And, and of course, he's... Huh? And he's going... To, Going to town on the Munchkin. Okay. Oh, well. There goes the Prince of uh, New Zealand there. Meanwhile, Wrangler yep. Wrigley going to work on Ken Maxion. Yep, he got a, got a hold on his neck right there. I wonder if one of these three would be in the running for an Adrenaline Championship shot. I mean, we know Gunganir recently got one. Ken Maxion, I'm sure, would love to get a crack at the adrenaline title. Oh, I bet. I wouldn't, but I actually would support him having a chance to fight the Phantom Thief rather than this Phantom Thief supporter, the Munchkin here. Well, meanwhile, Wrangler Wrigley just, uh... Ken McKinney, what are you doing? Get down from there. Uh-oh. Most well, might have turned their attention to Wrangler Wrigley now, but seems like they can't agree on who should hit him. Everybody just going for him, I guess. Uh oh. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Nice counter off the DDT. Wrangler Wrigley just picks him up. Look at this deadlift here. Oh! Yep, he's making short work of a man like Kid Max. Oh, comes another one. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh. Don't get it rolling through. Oh, okay. And uh, one. Oh, quick two. kick out. Yeah, Wrangler Wrigley wasn't going to lose like that. I, at least I hope not. Oh, there's that sling blade, though, that Gunganir enjoys. This. I say he pilfered that from, from the one and only Zach Abbott. Yeah, oh! Wrigley to the outside here. Oh, oh no, Kevin Action cutting off Gunganir at the pass. Took his huh, eyes off the prize. Let be saving his life here. Now it looks like he's going for a superplex here. Yep. Oh, wait it? a minute. Wait. Oh, oh Gunganir been fighting back. Oh, Gunganir fights back indeed. Oh, nice. Oh. And of course, Cover. And Wrangler yep. Wrigley breaks it up very quickly. Yeah, he's not losing the match like that. No way. Ooh, yeah, right back to the outside he goes. Oh, maybe now. Gunganir's going to try and connect with what he wanted before to the outside. Ooh. That, that's some damage right there. And that should keep the Wrigley outside for a while. Oh, no, but Ken uh, Maxson hate... took advantage. And Ken Maxson is uh, firing himself up. He sure is. Nice running. Oh, inverted atomic drop. And a scoop slam. Huh. Nice series of combos right there. Kick in the back. Sling blade, though. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Gunkin here got out of the way. Whew. No disqualifications. It is triple threat, but... Uh, this Wrangler Wrigley not taking too kindly to that blow on the outside. No, no, of course not. And I don't blame him. Beat that Munchkin down. Oh, you and the Munchkin thing. Wow, just an effortless throw. Takes out Gunganir, and now he's got Ken Maxion on the ropes, literally. Yeah, yeah he just slapped him onto the ropes. There we go. Between the ropes. What's he got to do? What the heck are we doing here? Oh! <laughs> I didn't think he would do something like that, but... Goodness, look at that. It's not a cruiserweight, everybody. <laughs> this man is, uh, he's wrestled animals all over the world. Here's a cover, though, off the sweep. What? Yep, kick out. Oh, God, Ken Maxson's head has got to be spinning after that. It has to be. I'd be surprised if it would. Yeah, here they are. They're dancing all over that, uh, sledgehammer right there. 
I wonder if anyone will actually make use of it. It's just kind of looming there. The referee doesn't have to get rid of it. I thought I want somebody to pick that thing up. Oh, I'm for, for the Maxion oh, kick, Julius. Oh, uh oh. A uh, Guggen here? A Guggen here? Yep. Maxion kick! Oh. There it is! I have not seen that move in a long time! Indeed, but now Wrangler Wrigley trying to take advantage. Yep. He can take Wrangler out Wrigley. Ken Maxion. Maybe he can get the cover on Gunganir. Nice back body drop. Oh, but Gunganir getting back to his feet. Yep. Maybe Wrangler Wrigley yep. can take care of the weakened Gunganir instead. Yep. Wrangler Wrigley, he's uh, on his feet. Oh, no! He just got thrown overboard. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Hey, Mudskin, what are you going to do with that hammer, huh? Gunganier. Can you handle it? Yeah, Gunganier's Can you handle got the hammer. Remember, Wrangler Wrigley tried to use the son of earlier. Oh, oh. no. You, how could you let him beat you with the hammer? Even one hit is going to hurt. Oh, now a dragon sleeper on the outside, but... Uh... Yeah, Wrangler Wrigley gets out of it. He's Watch. supposed to usually be the one to put animals to sleep. He ain't getting put to sleep. And he throws Kenny back into the ring. Some good triple threat action here on uh, Ascension. Here comes an exploder. Nice. Yeah, nice exploder. Definitely. All right. Oh, here we go. Cover. One. Two. Mm. Take out. Looks like the Wrangler Wrigley is trying to deal damage to... Uh, Okay, sling. Oh, he got geez. sling bladed. Yeah, I think the third sling blade of the match here. And one, two, three. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, wow. He barely kicked out of that. That was close. I actually thought that would have been it. I would have, I would have been a little peeved if the boats came in to defeat the Wrangler uh -oh. here for that. Uh oh, sharpshooter. Oh. No, Ken Maxion releasing it. Saw Wrangler Wrigley coming right for him. Ken Max should know, oh, the heck did he get him? Oh, he didn't get him up. Never mind. Yeah, he used his weight. He used his weight. I can't believe Ken Max had even thought he could do it. He probably thought he could take advantage as a center of gravity and think he could do a quick power bomb. One, two, now the kick out. Gunganir nearly narrowly survives. Ooh. Ooh. Throw him down. Oh, Wrangler Claw, maybe? Oh, oh now he's gonna, oh, he's gonna do that power Ooh. slam that defeated Santa Sturgeon. And now what's he gonna do? Oh my goodness. Oh, he, swing, 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 better, better, swing. He is wrangling him. Swing. Oh my is God, <laughs> the strength. Oh. 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 oh, and a kid backs it. He takes advantage. He knocks Wrangler oh, out of the ring. No. Oh, no. He's about to snipe. One, two. Oh, God. Oh, no. That wasn't it. That was not it. Kenny couldn't take it. He could win. Not yet. I'm looking for the sharpshooter again, Julius. Maybe now that oh, Ken Max Kenny didn't see Wrangler. Wrangler. Uh, here. What? Wrangler's we got some break time, we got breaking up. Yeah, there he goes. Yep, he's gonna break up this. Uh, <laughs> yep. No submission here tonight. Whew, these three are giving us a fierce match, Julius. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm actually quite impressed. And, uh oh. Counter! Yep. No black hand right the top. Uh oh, into the cover. He saw that Gunganir still trying to get to his feet. Gunganir runs over and breaks it up. Yeah, the most kid ain't gonna let that in that easily. Oh, he's going for the drive-by. Oh, this drive-by he is so fond of. Wrangler Wrigley's just gonna <laughs> stand back and let him take it. Oh, really? Then he's really gonna, gonna rest? Advantage. Yeah, good idea. Oh! Yep. Oh, dropped him right on top of Kenny! He dropped him right on top <laughs> oh, of Kenny! Oh, God, here's the cover! One, two, oh, two! Oh, man! How did Kenny kick out of that? He should have felt the impact of the bunch kid on his face! Wow! Oh, no, he counters back. Now oh, he's going for a cover. One, two! Nope, not yet! That's not it! That's not it! 
These guys are being crafty as heck against each other, Julius. I actually kind of like it. Oh, nice forearm yes. takedown. I agree. Uh-oh. Great action. Speaking oh, of. No, the Bucks keep trying to cover. One, two, kick out. Regular Wrigley has had too much time to rest. It ain't going to be enough to take Indeed. him out. Indeed. Near fall after near fall. What will be the Not reward for these three guys after this amazing competition? Oh, 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 oh. Could be looking for uh -oh. that, uh... Oh, how the heck did he throw him? I don't know. This Mutzkin should not be able to lift that man up. He's in the corner now. Ooh, elbow to the face. That's a nice shot yeah, right there. Go for this uh, delayed vertical again. Oh, this time Gunganir slips out of it, but can Max should from behind. Oh, wow, that was great. Oh, and he just mows down Wrangler Wrigley. Wrigley just trying to recover, I guess, but here's the cover. What? Oh, oh that was out. fast, yeah. Can he, can he try to get back into this? He's doing what he can to get back into this. He's in the corner. Maybe he's trying to take a little bit of a rest right now. Mm. Gunganir is outside of the ring. He's resting. He's out of breath. Wrangler Wrigley in two is out of breath. Who will make the first move? Yeah. The three the first. Who will get up first? Well, Wrigley back Wrangler to his feet. feet. Ken Maxson waiting for him. Sweeps the DDT. That's what was. That's what Kenny was waiting for. He was waiting for him to get up so he could deal that. Oh, but now Gunganir. Gunganir is taking advantage. Oh, he's gonna do the buckle smash. Oh no. He's pulling him into the middle of the he's ring. Pull he's pulling him into the cover. Cup. Wrangler yes. Wrigley, recover this what? thing here. He does. Yep, he breaks it up. Effective break up of the count. Wrangler Wrigley throws the much here in the corner. Picks Mutskin up. Sits him on top. What's he about to do? Oh, oh man, that's the second time oh, Wrangler no. Wrigley's gotten denied here. Oh, flying clothesline! Oh no! And now he's going after Kenny. Yep, jawbreaker though as Ken Maxson fights back. These guys just can't figure out how to get both of their opponents down. Wow, reversed out of the side slam. Gunganir hooks him up. Snap suplex. Tired out, though. These guys have been going all out, Julius. I say most of that time might have been. Oh. Uh-oh. One, two. No. Kick out. Kick out. My goodness. I was going to say they ended up getting tired because they kept picking up that big man over there about, at ringside. Wrangler Wrigley. No, you might be right, Julius. They've been, they've, they've thrown Wrangler Wrigley around a couple times, and he's not exactly a lightweight. Ken Max should go for a cover, but Wrangler Wrigley, there's just, there's no way that's going to happen. Yep, he's already back in the ring. He's already trying to get back into this. Oh, nice elbow to the face. That might stun Wrigley. Oh, not long enough, though. Belly to belly. Oh. And now he's trying to take advantage. He's going to fight the Munchkin right here. What's he going to do? Yep. Nope. Oh, oh, the counter. Oh. The monkey was trying to do a little snap suplex on him, looks like. Oh, he got counted out of it. Great shot. And now Gunganir, oh. I think, is going to the outside here. Oh, and oh, coming back oh. in. Oh, over the rope. Wrangler Wrigley's looking a little winded, right. though. But he's right. probably going to try to... What's he going to do next? Yeah, twerked his arm there. Oh, oh. well, there goes Gunganir. Knocked him right outside. Wrangler Wrigley just using his body weight to his advantage. Ken Maxson, though, tries to cut him off at the pass, but a counter and the headbutt again. Yeah, yeah Wrangler Wrigley is said to be a very hard-headed person in the most literal sense. All yeah. those scars on his face aren't just for show. He's actually headbutted some of those dangerous animals. Indeed he has, but uh, can Ken Maxson put this thing what? away here? No, nope. the save. The Munchkin is here he is back in the ring he's going after kenny oh nice hammer lock here oh he's going for that short arm clothesline oh look at wrangler wrigley oh kick out you freaking idiot look at wrangler wrigley <laughs> trying to sneak away the cover as gunganair is going for some showboating this is why I don't like showboating. This crap could happen. That's what could happen. Your chance at victory could just slip right by your fingertips. Oh, into the buckle. 
fucking spaz. Oh, man. Duncan it looks here. like the Mugs are going after Kenny. Yep. Oh, that's oh. nice throw on the legs of uh, Wrangler Wrigley there. Oh, boy, that had to hurt the back of Ken Max in there. Those legs yeah, aren't reversal. exactly... Go for the Pencils. elbow. Oh, they drew, they drew. Go for the sharpshooter again. I can't think this will last too long. No. Oh, oh no. Oh, hey, no. Wrangler, Wrangler, and stop now, that. It might be Wrangler stop. Wrigley giving up to win here, but Gunganir rolls out of the sharpshooter. Now Wrangler Wrigley sees that it's going on. Yeah, well, they already got out of it. It looks like they were about to jump uh, Kenny here, but no. Kenny is uh, trying to fight back into this. Oh, he being held by the head okay and strong slam no wow and he got out of that easily uh oh oh this is how you deal with the big man oh Gunganir holding him for the enziguri and now that the and big now, man's down maybe these two can settle their differences oh no Gunganir oh, calculation he yeah he didn't figure out where Ken Maxson was going to be after that elbow to the face yeah he must have been disoriented when your head is spinning, it's hard to aim right. Ooh, straight shot. Another one. Come here, trying to build momentum here. Blow to the back of the head. Nice kick to oh, the hamstring. Ken action reversal. Shot. Sharpshooter again. But it just oh. seems like Wrangler Wrigley always coming back to the ring here when the sharpshooter is being applied. But can he make it this time? Yes, he kicks it away. Yep. Looks like the Mudskin will not get a chance to tap out tonight. Oh my god, whoa, what the heck? He elbowed him in the in mid air to get out of that back suplex. Oh. Frank the Wrigley beckoning to Gunganir, but uh, Gunganir's down and Ken Maxson takes it. No, oh wow. Yeah, Wrangler. it looks like Frank uh, Wrigley ain't having any of that. No yeah, go way. For the, oh, I thought he was going for the cover, but Gunganir now. Frank yep. Wrigley fights back, fight back by Gunganir. Reversal here. Scoop slam. Oh my god, he got out of the German suplex. Ooh, ooh, look at that, that German suplex. Rolls him over for the cover. Ken Max should nowhere to be found. One, two. Oh, not Take yet. Out. That wasn't a strong enough move to keep him down, no. Oh boy, he just got out of the way. Ooh, Musky got reversal out of the way. going for the, the Wrangler. No, he's going for that power slam, Julius. Here comes that power oh, slam. slam. Ooh, power slam, power slam. Ooh! Wrangler's got to pull him away from the ropes. Ken Maxson, though. Slowly crawl. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a cover. Oh, he's going to go for a stretch muffler. Going to try and make him submit. But he didn't see Ken Maxson behind him. Oh, that might have been it. But Ken Maxson had just enough time. DDT and Wrangler Wrigley has been he, busted he, he open. Busted he busted open Wrangler Wrigley. He busted him open. Oh, man. Eddie just running around the ring. He's hyped. He is hyped for the crowd. He is psyching up the crowd. He is hyped. Oh, flying elbow drop. What's he going to do? Into the cover. One, two. No, it's still going, Wrangler man. Wrigley stays in this despite his head bleeding. We're despite still going. Make him angry. Go for the Wrangler claw. No. Ken Maxson fights out of it. But Wrangler throws him back. The Wrangler man, Julius. Can he do it? Oh, Gunganir. Arm drag. Straight shot. Ken Maxson hung up in the ropes now. Nope. Where the heck is Gunganir going? Ken Maxson on the ropes oh. here. Oh! Suicide tackle onto the outside. Oh, my God. That was one heck of an impact. If you can get like Ken Maxson to the ring, you might be able to just pin him right here. Is he going to go for that pick cover? He can do it. Can I'm going to go for submission hold. He's gonna see if he can put him in a sleeper. Sleeper! Oh. No, that's not enough! Oh, the counter! Wrangler, get Standing out. switch! Wrangler. Blow to the back! Wrangler. Elbow to the face now by Ken Maxson. Ken Maxson side slam. <laughs> Rolls out of it, does Gunganir. How the heck are these guys still countering each other? Go for a package. Oh, package Falcon's arrow right here. Into the cover. One! Two! Oh, man! Wrangler really. Yeah, Wrangler wasn't going to let that happen. Wrangler was right there. Into the he seat, kicked though. It. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, into the crossroads. Goodness. Thought Wrangler Wrigley had him for one of those slams, but uh, Gunganir reversed it in midair. 
But now he's going to try and make Wrangler submit. All but Wrangler Wrigley. He lifts it by the leg and forces it off. Had the perfect way to get out of that situation. Military press slam like it's nothing. Of course, I hear he slammed the gorillas it taken like out, this. Is it taking out the air what? of Gunganir? Who? No, Who? it hasn't. Goodness, how much fight does this much can have? I don't know, but how much fight does Ken Max should have? Here comes the sharpshooter, Julius, and this time Gunganir's down. The sharpshooter. Oh, no. What is Gungan here have a cross face down at the same time? What the heck's going on here? No, no, I, okay, I thought he did. Wrangler Wrigley just trying to get out of it. I thought we had two submissions on the same superstar. That would have been something. Yeah, that actually would be a tad silly because only one person can win the match. Even if he tapped out, who would win the match? Well, yeah, you could weaken your opponent, I guess. The referee would probably restart it. Buckle smash it coming for Ken Maxion. And now. Oh, Wrangler Wrigley just denies Gunganir. Saw him coming a mile away. Russian leg sweep, though, takes down the big man. Well, yep. quite literally. Oh, big man has been thrown out of the ring. It, it is now down to the Munchkin and Kenny. Cover. Ooh, oh, boy. Four foot cover. One, two, three. And that's it. This one's finally over. I can't freaking believe it. The Munchkin pinned Ken Maxson. Oh, no. No win or loss for Wrangler Wrigley tonight, but uh, holy flid. Dunganier picking up a hard-earned victory. I don't freaking believe the Munchkin. This Munchkin is trying so hard. Oh. He wants to get back into that adrenaline title picture, Julius. He was the first ever adrenaline champion, and he wants it back. Well, if, it, if that's the case, he's going to have to go through either May Satlis or Sumana, depending on the conclusion of that match. Oh, indeed. Ah, but the Gestalt gauntlet continues, Julius. Here we go! And the here's the team. administration! Yep, here's the team with, gosh, three wins now. Yep, these guys, I, I have, I'm impressed by their prowess today. Yeah, they drew an early number. Everybody thought, well, you know, they'll be out in no time. Instead, we've had wars with the... Well, let's see, who have they gone through here, Julius? They've gone, they battled they, the Higgins. They went, the, they went through the Higgins. They went through the Flying Roses. They went through the uh, Garcias. That's it, yes. They've been dominating this Gestalt gauntlet so far. I'm sure they're making Woo! Mayor Duncan proud. Ghana, of course, yep. not out here because she's got to help Mayor Duncan prepare for his encounter with Hunt Courtright later tonight, but uh, well, Richard they, Bergman and Gabriel Brahman out here to do what they do. Yep, they, I mean, I hear the mayor has been, he he claims his approval rating has been going up thanks to these two. Hmm, who did the stats for that one, him? I don't know, all uh -huh. right? I don't, I don't know, no. I don't be breaking and entering the mayoral office. Oh, but you break and enter my freaking apartment. Well, at least you're not, a, you're not a government official that can just arrest me on the spot, so, uh, yeah. I don't need to arrest you, I need to blast you with a void orb. Here come the Hunters, who drew the next number in the Gestalt Gauntlet. Yep, these guys, the Hunters. Ah. Now, I hear on Twitter, they've actually, uh, people have actually been kind of behind these two, because they have not forgotten that they, are, that they were able to defeat such an intimidating foe known as the Double Dozer. Well, not only that, they put away uh, they put away a couple other tag teams on their way here to the Gestalt Gauntlet. These two definitely making an impact as they came into PDW, and they would sure love to be the first ever PDW Tag Team Champions. Big fight atmosphere here, Julius. Oh yeah, we're gonna see how they fare tonight against the mayoral administration because the mayoral administration those two have one heck of a fire a heck of a lot of momentum behind them let's see how they do let's see it looks like we're going to be starting with uh, richard and gorgon here yep let's oh oh, oh boy <laughs> police chief bergman already going to town against gorgon razor fang oh yeah. boy and not only that julius but look how craftily he threw him into his own team's corner knowing that gorgon is the faster of the two Yep, he, he wants to keep him down. 
See, these mayoral Big administration bucks. guys, they've had some devious plans in these matches, and so far they've been working out. Yeah, if they really had really, they had really need to, needed the help of the mayor himself. Oh, wow, he landed on his feet off the German suplex, and it looks like we're going to change out strategies here, going for the powerhouse, so Ryan Peterson right into the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Woo! And he craftily throws Richard into his team corner. Huh, looks like they might have picked up some uh, tricks. Nice press slam there. Clash of the Titans, says one texter. May the best team win. I agree. I agree as well. Here's a nice clutch trying to wear down Richard Bergman. I don't expect a submission now, but uh, every little bit helps. Oh, and a change of strategy on the part of the mayoral administration. These two teams are trying to get in each other's head, Julius. Oh, but I don't oh. know if Orion Peterson saw the tag because he's going after Richard still. Nice back body drop, but Gabriel from behind. Oh, jeez, that freaking clothesline. Just mowed him down, but here's a reversal shoulder tackle. Yeah, Ryan isn't going to give up that easily. Oh. No, sir. All right, ref's got to get Richard out of the ring here. This is a two-on-one assault right now. Oh, come on. Oh, God, uppercut off the rope there. Oh, come on. Ref, there was a tag made. Get him out of the ring. And now the and now Richard leaves. But it looks like Bo I mean, uh, Ryan is not giving up that easily. Central got the better of the situation. Nice blow to the back there. Trying to take control. Well, Ryan Peterson, he can take one heck of a beating as we saw in his match against Wolfgang Steinberg recently. Oh yeah, that's right, freaking Wolfgang. I don't, don't, do not even get me started on that well, loose You don't need to get started. He's been told to stay out of the match tonight, so don't worry about it. All right, if he do, I will gank him myself. This is all about tag team extravaganza. We want to crown the first ever tag team champions at our yeah, next pay-per-view, which we now know is called Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg! And I hear the arena for that is going to be something special. Well, Don Macchio finally book us, booked us a, uh, another pay-per-view arena here. Yeah, I wonder what was taking him so long. But caring, I mean, caring about all his uh, little golden boy a little too much? Well, I don't know, but we've got a super ascension out of it, so whatever. Nice clothesline there by Orion Peterson. He just is uh, hes going to have to do some heavy work to keep Gabriel down. Look, that doesn't even affect... Oh, here we go. Oh! Now he's going to just repeat oh. blows to the chest here as he's hung up in the ropes. Ah! Ugh. Jeez. Ooh! Ugh. And he might not... Yeah, there you go. Ooh, yeah, okay. Oh no. Orion is gonna need to get a tag. Yeah. He might need a oh okay. Richard okay. got a tag. If the powerhouse of the hunters go down, that'll severely affect the performance of their team, of course. He's trying to do a little adrenaline lap okay, here. Okay, he got a uh, Oh, oh he suckered him in. Ha! Nice! I was wondering what was going on, but that was a little trickery there. Indeed. Gabriel Brahman taking exception to that, or maybe distracting the referee, I don't know, but uh, Snake Eyes isn't coming here. Oh! oh! Reversal. Into the corner. Probably want to get him out of that corner, though, but uh, look at Orion showing no fear in the face of the mayoral administration, just driving that boot into the chin of Richard Bergman. Lifts him up. Nice power bomb. Oh. Go for the cover. Here go, we go. go. One! No, not even close. This one might have a, a ways to go yet, Julius. Got a little claw on, his, on the shoulder of uh, Richard. Yeah, gonna try and pinch Richard those nerves. Up. Shot to the Ooh. Richard gets up and he shots him right into the corner. Down to the adjacent corner, sends a Ryan to the top rope here. Oh boy, he's preparing him for something. Yep. Oh, he's going to do that gut wrench from the middle rope that he likes to do. And it connects. Oh! Cover. Oh, is this one, two, kick out. Oh, here yeah. we go. Oh, wow, Richard fighting out of the tag team situation there. He was going to be in trouble if he let that tag happen 
Oh, military press slam into the gut buster. Now we could be looking for arrested development. Oh no, oh no. Yep, he's going for it. Arrested development. And oh, oh, right into the mat. Yep, it happens. This could be a quick victory here for the mayoral administration. Big oh, but Gorgon saves it. Happened. Got a little blow on the referee the though. That but happened. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. The rep is down. That's no good. Well, there is a tag made here. I guess it's up to the referee's discretion whether or not he allows it when he gets back up. But, uh... Oh, looks like Richard's fighting back. Delayed vertical. Slips out of it, does Gorgon. Oh, nice exploder. Yeah, good. But Gorgon is still fresh into this. He ain't letting that happen either. Wow, he spun in midair and hit the frog splash on Richard Bergman's back. Man, nice momentum there. Air control, too. <laughs> the referee is, uh, he's taking some beatings in this guest hall gauntlet, Julius. Uh, it's a wonder he's not, I mean, I hope he's got good health insurance. Yeah, he's, uh, been very lenient, not disqualifying. Here, kind of trying to let these teams do what they do best, but uh, he's got to got to get the rule book back in here at some point. Oh wow, nice takedown by Gorgon. Oh yeah, working the arm, working the arm. You got to make sure you don't get hit by that judgment gavel. What's Gorgon doing? Oh, here we're dragging him out for a stomp on the arm, I guess. Well, we can the judgment yeah, gavel. Got to get the power of the punch behind it. Yeah, without that power, the judgment gavel may not be as effective as long as he lowers the power Ooh. of that arm. Indeed. That's right. Gorgon is taking advantage of his quickness and swiftness. Yeah, but he just ran to a brick wall named Gabriel Brahman, and now the judge with a backbreaker. Yes. What's he going to do? Oh, boy. Go for a, oh, boy. Uh, yep. Yeah. Another clutch. Oh, submission hold. The same clutch we saw in Richard Bergman earlier. Sweeps out, though, does Gorgon. A nice stomp to the side for good measure. And try and make sure Gabriel's worn down for his next attack. Into the corner. Can he get the tag combo this time? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Got? Tag combo. Here we go. Oh, this one's going to be painful, Julius. We remember this one. There's the elbow. Oh, Ooh, into the, the back. Into the impaler block. and the Chopping elbow. Block. Whew. Chopping block is just enough to put Gabriel the away. Chopping block One, and the mayoral two. administration might be done. They are done, Julius. The hunters moving oh, on. Gorgon just attacked Richard too for good measure. Goodness, they took it about. They do, they knocked off the mayoral administration. I can't believe they did it, but they did it. And that is that for the mayoral administration, everybody. I didn't think that they would be able to do it for a minute there, but they freaking did it. Nice battle of stratagems, but it pays off for the Hunters, Orion, and Gorgon. They'll be moving on to the next round on our next show. Well, it's time for one of those title matches we promised, Julius. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. It's the Artemis title that's on the line. Indeed. The one that is here to collect, the ultimate android, said by Victor Blimfont Stone himself, invented by Victor Blimfont Stone, here to collect gold from Kiki Pusakagua. 71011. Lion! Determined to turn the ultimate anime heroine into ultimate anime trash, in the words of Victor. But uh, I gotta tell you, Julius. We thought Lao Minty was the favorite in that Artemis Games, and then Lion, when she got it down to a one on one situation, just completely dominated Lao Minty. That's right, Lao Minty, yeah. She, she was defeated by Lion almost effortlessly. She, she must have been analyzing her moves throughout the entire Artemis Games, made the correct calculations, and went for the victory. And now, finally, Lion gets a shot at the Artemis title that has eluded her for quite some time, and here comes the champ. Kiki! 
Spencer Kagura. You know, Cinnabon Sunday. might be hanging out, screwing around on the beach or whatever, but, you know, for all the controversy with Kiki Spencer Kagura's title reign, at least she's been here competing. That's correct. She may be known as the, she calls herself the ultimate anime heroine. Others like to call her the ultimate yandere. Cause we've seen some of the things that she is definitely capable of. Indeed. Which side do you think is necessary to take down Lion, Julius? The yandere side or the heroine side? Mm hmm. I would like to think that she's going to need to tap into her inner yandere. To win this to win this match against an android like that, you're gonna have to go all out. Seen the just relentless beatings that Lion has taken from multiple competitors and come out nearly unscathed. Are we just looking at a new Artemis champion, or does Kiki Spencer Kagura have something up her sleeve? Who knows? But we'll see what kind of tricks she might have, she might have come up with. And if she does have any tricks. Did Victor account for said tricks? All right, perhaps Victor has already analyzed the foot on the rope. All the other sneaky tactics we've seen, like the turnbuckle pad. But let's see here, Kiki starting things off with our running bulldog. Yep. The Artemis Championship, Julius, as soon as it was invented, as soon as we had that all-women's elimination chamber match, put on the spot, put on the map, ready for competition, prestige here. That's right. All the women here at PDW are constantly competing for a shot at that title for a chance to jump straight into goddesshood. Yes, you got to consider that, you know, usually you would go for the world title version of the division you're in, but uh, with the women's division here in PDW, both championships are almost equivalent given how fast, as you said, that Artemis title can turn into the Goddess title. We've already seen it happen once here in PDW. The current Goddess Cinnabon. Not only is she undefeated, but she got that Goddess championship by cashing in. Yep. Oh, boy. Just, just showing off her strength. There goes the anime heroine. Yeah, wow. Texture's blowing up here currently. Talking about how maybe Kiki isn't champion because the ref didn't notice her cheating. A couple people rooting for a lion. A few people rooting for Kiki. Don't know if I could accept a non-human as one of our champions. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of back and forth even between the crowd here in this one. But here's a half crab. Yep, it looks like Kiki breaking out of that. I'd, I'd have to tell you, we must have gotten ourselves a broken fan base here with both of these women here. Indeed, Lion is a dangerous competitor, but some just don't buy into Kiki because of her tactics. So it's, it's going to be a hard sell no matter who wins this match, Julius, but it'll certainly shake things up. We'll see. We see, we see some saying that basically it would mean that Victor is the Artemis champion. So do you know how twisted that would be right there? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Victor with the... The calling card for the Goddess Championship whenever he wants Lion to cash in, because let's face it, Lion's not going to have the, the free will to cash that thing in. Yep, he will probably program her, program a new algorithm into her brain to say, cash in ultimate belt at this time right here. He would have to program it in himself. Here's a torture rack of sorts. Oh, oh, and that crushes the side of Kiki and drops her on the map, but somehow Kiki fighting back here. You have to, now I have to tell you, you don't want to underestimate a Yandere. They, they tend to act like those freaking serial killers from those slasher flicks. Mm. They don't go down easy. They tend to display a ridiculous amount of strength. And maybe we'll see that oh, from Kiki wow. tonight. Flying leg drop, but the lion gets right back up! Like nothing! What the heck is it gonna take? Off the turnbuckle now, and a German suplex just waylays Kiki. I usually chalk it up to her just being an android, but man, I have to say she is well built. Nice shot there. Could be the. Oh, the pile driver! Oh! That hit the hurt! Might be a new champion right what? here! Is it that easy? No, it's not. No. 
that could possibly be open to that concussion that Kiki had a, long, a while back. Oh, sure, she Victor. She better be careful. Victor perhaps is programmed line to target the injured head. And now it could be shut down V2 here, Julius. Here she goes and connects. Oh, man. This one might be academic from here. Another cover. One, two, three. Mm. Oh! <laughs> what? Whoa! <laughs> the anime heroine kicked out! Seriously! Wow! I don't anime. believe that. She saw me back. Goodness! I don't believe that. Kiki is behind the eight ball here, though. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. You're very locked, Julius. You're very locked. You're very locked. Can she make the Android submit? I doubt it. No, she's God. not going to get it. Ryan backing off to recalculate here. Kiki came out of nowhere. Perhaps a last desperation attempt of sorts. And now right back to where we started a spike oh, power bomb. Oh, oh, this. Just power bombing her like nobody in this. Could be looking for another one here. No, Kiki fights out of this one. Punches the head. Kiki's got to find some way to build momentum in this thing, but Lion just dumps her to the outside. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Counter into the jawbreaker. Now we got his fight. Oh, crucifix on the outside. That might do some... That might do some extra damage. She's going to have to take advantage. She's going to have to fight the android on the outside. Deal as much damage as possible. Oh, oh, oh boy. this is not where Kiki wants to be getting hit. And now <laughs> Lion's just a vicious beatdown. Uh, the referee! The ref! Knee driver into the back. I think the referee's up to six or seven here. These two got a yeah. seven count. Kiki throwing Lion. Actually, this might be up to Kiki's advantage here. As long as he keeps her out of the ring. Referee up to eight. Rolls her back in. Kiki wants to pin, not to count out. I don't know if that'll cost her in the long run, but uh, certainly is admirable. We'll oh, see. she wants to kick Julius. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, and up. Four. Ow. Can she knock out Lion long enough? Lion just counters. Lion is getting... She's back on her feet like it's nobody's business! Kiki's gonna have to try something other than her usual tactics, it seems. Lion now, pressing her into the corner here. What's she got in mind? Ooh, off the oh. turnbuckle. Again with this uh, German suplex combo. Oh, man, just throwing her around like a rag doll. Counter into the jawbreaker, though. Kiki's still with some fight left in her. She's just got to figure something out. Nice face buster. Goodness. Into the cover here. One. Line two. in trouble here. No. Rolls the shoulder. Got a text saying, have Victor ever considered making something for the men division, or does Lion take up too much of his time? Oh, that dear. Oh. Lion probably does take too much of his time, considering how often he has to uh, keep maintenance. Oh, on Julius, him. I think we might have a new. Ch oh, oh, God. That freaking pile driver. And now Lion is feeling it. Look at headbutting into the turnbuckle just to try and get psyched up here. Whoa. Lion is freaking out here. And Kiki's got to be. She's got to be in trouble. She's got to find some way. Okay, she kicks away. But she's got to stop the momentum here. Quick cover. Yeah. Kiki going to try and steal One, it. Two. No. Out. Going to try and do damage to the head Look. circuitry. Yep, trying to best to maybe scramble those uh, chips in her brain. Uh, climbing up high. High risk, perhaps high reward. Let's see what's gonna happen. She caught up the line to get up. What's gonna happen? Flying clothesline turns her inside out. Line rolls out of the way and back to her freaking feet. Are you serious right now? Oh, the way oh, vertical boy. Kiki slides out of it. Shot to the oh. face. Line cuts her off at the pass though. Hooks the head. Let's see. She's got her up. 
throws it for the back body drop. Oh, man. How do you stop this android, Julius? I don't freaking know. Does this android even have any sort of weak weak spots? Like, may, maybe some sensitive circuitry or oh, something. She's looking for the shutdown again. Kiki rolls, though. She knows if she gets back. She manages to cut Lion off the pass, but Lion just throws her back. Oh, Lion over the shoulder with that. Oh. Oh, just throws her down like nobody business. Effortless slam. Might be time. Oh. I don't think we can... Oh, count! Oh! Backbreaker! Backbreaker! Oh. One! Two! Yeah. Three! That one will do it. Yep. Lion is the new Artemis champion. God, I Victor thought... Victor uh... Buffon Stone is blown. God, I thought Kiki had the counter on the shutdown, but Lion just turned it into another move. And boy, there you go, Julius. There you go. I can't believe it. She, she actually, she actually did it. How is Victor Bivon Stone acting in the backstage right now? And now suddenly, Victor has control of the destiny of the Goddess Championship. Oh boy. Now we get to. Mayor Duncan himself. He's about to go ahead and uh, put a certain sheriff out of town. And of course, got his uh, trusty, lovely secretary by his side. Now, Mayor Duncan's been Mayor Duncan, Han Courtright, throwing everybody he can at him, throwing Richard Bergman. Throwing Cloakie the Bear, even not even one of his own guys, is just outsourcing people to try and stop the the man of the Wild West from getting his hands on him. But finally, Mayor Duncan here had to he had to accept this match. Yeah, I, I can't believe this. And what made him actually accept this match, though? What, why did he absolutely, positively have to accept it? Probably ran out of resources trying to chase off on Courtright. On Courtright said he was going to get each member of the mayoral administration leading up to Mayor Duncan. I guess he skipped through Gabriel Brahman, but, uh, well. Yeah, you're right, he did skip Gabriel Brahman because he knows that Gabriel had the credentials to defeat him. Well, why didn't Mayor Duncan send Gabriel then? Mayor, mayoral yeah. administration got goobied because of the guest stall gauntlet, and now Mayor Duncan has to answer for the atrocities he committed against Han Courtright. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, it's just a man who is in office. It's politics, man. He, this is a, this sheriff here is effectively going after the mayor because he's simply following the rules of politics here. He's trying to fight against politics. He can't collapse the rule of politics. No, he's not trying to collapse the rule of politics. The man just wants his proper vengeance as he sees it. Proper vengeance, I see. So, so, you know a thing yeah. or two about that, Julius. You call it justice, though. Yeah, I call it justice, but it's not my justice. Uh huh. PDW is brought to you by Waddle Weddings. Only available on Tuesday when everybody's at work or trying to work. Want a book on the what? weekend? Ask about our special intrusive deal. Waddle Weddings, <laughs> breaking into your hearts and clocks since 1984. Excuse me? Why do I get the. Why, why did you say that with such venom? I don't know what you're talking about. You said it so with a lot of venom. going to have the advantage it. here, Julius? The freaking... Uh, uh, the mayor, of course. Uh, the mayor? Yeah, the mayor, because he's, he got his approval rating on his side. Uh, the approval rating uh, equates to momentum. Well, to have an actual analysis here, perhaps Mayor Duncan has been uh, watching the matches that he's been putting Han Courtright in, and now he... Could perhaps have Han Courtright's style memorized or something. That might be of help. I'm sure Ghana would have taught him how to do that. Right, right. However, Han huh. Courtright, world-class fighter, world-class wrestler. So let's see. Mayor Duncan running right across the ring here and starts off with a DDT. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Oh. And Mayor Duncan is already working the head of the sheriff. How many chairs do you think Gon is going to throw into the ring here? 
That's Mayor Duncan's. Isn't that Mayor Duncan's thing? Well, he's out here. Maybe he'll get the chair. He's okay, two well, exchanging like... submission holds to start things off here. Kind of interesting, given how, you know, how much they want to get their hands on one another. Well, actually, in the case of Mayor, how uh, not he ever wanted to fight hardcore, right? Actually, but. Uh, well, he, he didn't. Feel, well, he felt he felt like he didn't owe the sheriff anything. The sheriff just decided, "Hey, I'm gonna fight you and your guys out of nowhere." Well, if you don't want to owe him anything, you shouldn't have screwed him out of the world championship tournament a couple months ago. That's where this all this whole thing started. And uh, so he still hadn't quite gotten over that, huh? So basically, Han Cartwright, he is a vengeful man. He's coming out. He's coming after the mayor for a little justice. And yet you berate me for talking down to the Phantom Thief. Ooh, nice drop there by Han Courtright. You, you ought to know that his logic is pretty much the same as my logic for going after the Phantom Thief. You keep bringing this thing back to Mace Atlas and the Phantom Thief when he's got four he title defenses Thief. ago, Julius. He is the Phantom Thief. <laughs> I'm Why don't you just root for yet. Sumanon tonight in our main event then? Won't that make you feel better? I think I might. Uh -huh. Wait I a minute. Oh. Speaking of that uh, main event, I've just received a special oh. note about that, but uh, we'll get to that when Mason and Sumanon are making their entrances, I suppose. For now, uh, though, yes, uh, the thing that you reacted to, those vicious boots. Yeah, I just saw that. Oh, and, nice uh, sucker punch it, there by the mayor, admittedly. He drew him right in. Yeah, let's see what the mayor's going to do now. He's waiting for him to get up, looks like. Oh. Okay, got... Oh, nope. Over the shoulder. I counter. Just dumps him. Russian leg sweep. Ooh. Oh, there it is. It's like deja vu all over again, I guess. Yep, the mayor's just not having any of it. He's just not... Gotta work on the leg, I, I suppose. Yeah, what part of uh, Han would you target? He kind of just comes at you with everything. Hmm. Well, if any, I mean, if you ask me, I would like to probably do something to stop his movements. If he can't move as much, then it makes it easier to dodge. So I would target the legs. He can take out the vertical base of the outlaw here and perhaps slow him down. But you still have to contend with his upper body strength. I can contending with his upper body strength will will burn that bridge when it comes to it. It's all about seeing if you can slow him down and make it easier for you to predict his movements to dodge him. Could be a full. Oh, there goes uh, Mayor. Could be a full pulse attack here for Mayor Duncan, but uh, that'll put a damper in his strategy. And the Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. Got it. I gotta be careful here. Don't want to get the mayor disqualified and have the ire of the Duncan on you. I don't think he'd care that much. Because you know, he you might be the... right. A disqualification would mean he doesn't have to finish the match against Han and he can walk away perhaps unscathed here, but, uh, well. Yeah, pretty much. He wouldn't be, he would not be mad at Ghana for that at all. Oh, wow, he just threw his whole body over his shoulder. Ooh, oh, went for a super kick. Mayor counters into a big shot there, and uh, Han's leg got hung up in the rope. That might uh, do some more damage. Yeah, Koji, you got to work those. Ooh. Oh, nice. Uh, Han just. Yeah, smart move there. Han taking a breather. Yep, Back into suckers the him out of the ring. Back in the ring. All right, all Coming right. out again. Oh, another. boy, he's just. He is just messing with him right now. Doing a little dance, yeah. Oh, this, they may as well be playing musical chairs right about now. Goodness. Oh, might be playing musical top rope in a second. Unless the mayor counters. No, uh-oh. Han's got control of Mayor Duncan here, Julius. Could be looking for a top rope. Back superplex. Oh, Oh, that's, man. Yep. That's damage to both backs. Shoots the half. Oh, wait. No, yeah, okay. No, just goes for the hook of the leg here. One. Two. Oh, kick out. The mayor is uh, okay. Getting his arm worked now. The, yeah, the mayor is to, uh, fighting ooh, out. Him out while Han had control of his arm, but uh, use the open arm. Why not? Go for the delayed vertical, perhaps. 
And yep, lets the blood rush to Han Courtright's head before dumping him down. Now the mayor looks down on the sheriff. And he's already oh, sheriff already trying to fight Ooh. back. Yeah, the mayor Drop trying it. to tell Han that this is his town, but he spent a little too much time talking. He say, your friends voted for me. You ever thought of Ooh, that? Oh, that time he got the kick and the uh, the strike on the uppercut there. Now a kick to the back as well. Oh, Ghana distracting the referee over there. Yes, wait, does she try to untie the turnbuckle? She tried to untie the turnbuckle, yeah. And now the mayor. He's got him up for the muscle buster here. Oh, oh, oh no, he just he drops him with a neck breaker instead. That had to hurt. Is this enough to put the sheriff away? Well, this might be. One, two, Oh, he did eight. actually did it. I, I, um, I'm actually a little surprised. Ah. I, actually, a, a I, minute amount of trickery here tonight. Perhaps it was the fact that the mayor had time to study Han Courtright. Yeah? That's why I'm surprised. I, uh, I, I didn't catch anything fishy there in the match. I mean, I saw Ghana distracting the referee, but I don't think that had any bearing on the competitors. Actually, no, no, it didn't because the mayor didn't do anything dirty. Oh, man. Well, the mayor escapes Han Courtright. I guess hey, we'll see where he goes from here and if uh, Han's going to want a rematch at some point. He just might. He might want something. He want higher stakes now, I would suppose. Well, that leaves our main event of the evening. Ah, main event of the evening, meaning... The sumo wrestler from Japan, a man of full of pounds and weight, here to crush his competition, Sumonon. Yeah, Sumana, we thought he vanished after the tournament, but he came back suddenly and became the second man ever to pin Mace Atlas. Mace Atlas wasn't able to figure him out in a tag team situation. And then uh, Sumonon decided, you know what? I'm coming for that adrenaline title. I oh can't, yeah! Uh, I can't imagine how Sumanon actually got the uh, the title shot, but well, he was impressive against Snipe at least a couple weeks ago. And then remember, uh, yeah, Mace Atlas was just out here trying to have a match, and Sumanon actually came down and attacked him. The two had a brawl until they were separated, but uh, well, he just looks like a uh, looks like the general manager decided that these two are gonna have it out for that belt. I guess, and I. Uh, Promised you a special note earlier, Julius. And that is? It seems that uh, Don Macchio has taken note of the fact that these two might be brawling a little seriously here. And, uh, well. Oh, well, yeah, it's a championship Don, match. I don't think Don Macchio would want uh, Mace Atlas' fifth and final title defense for that adrenaline title to be awarded via count out. So, I am being told this match is Falls Count Anywhere. What? Oh boy, you mean as a, they, they can just go into the crowd, the crowd may get a chance to see an up close and personal view of the brawl. That's right, notice, no disqualifications, no count outs, falls count anywhere. So we will have a winner tonight for the Adrenaline Championship, either Mace Atlas will have his fifth and final needed title defense to cash in on the global champion or Sumanon. He'll walk away with that glorious red belt. The belt crafted from the blood, sweat, and tears of adrenaline. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people questioning whether Don Macchio and Midori have taken note of Mace Atlas's title reign here, because, again, if Mace wins this, he can come after the champion Midori Ryukami. Uh, yeah, in fact, I would, uh, you know, like I said, I normally don't support the Phantom Thief, but he, he might actually want to be concerned when it comes to Midori Ryukami. He has a little bit, he has quite a lot of power as far as being here in PDW goes. He got the GM in his back pocket. Now could this all be a conspiracy to remove that title from Mace Atlas before it's too late, but... To be fair, Mace Atlas does also have a grudge with Sumanon and vice versa. These two yeah, met this... each other about a month ago and now they're gonna settle it. Yeah, the Phantom Thief, he he 
He still said claims to be a fighting champion, I suppose. I could go ahead and acknowledge that much. A lot at stake here. What's going through the head of the adrenaline champion, Mace Atlas? He's got to have the focus of a vulture. Yep. Ain't going to have to be ready to take out Sumana on this time. He cannot be overcome by his imp imp impressive strength, his incredible weight. Uh, the background of us. Here we, here we go. Oh, Mace right to the outside saying, come and get it. Oh, wait a minute. He can, oh, goodness. Yeah, Mace said, come and get a chair shot. Oh, man. Yeah. He's going right after him. I was right. Him. Mace Atlas with the focus of a vulture on this sumo wrestler. But, oh, gosh, Sumo just throws him oh. right to the table. Oh, boy. The table hits the chair. Ah. Oh, God. He just walks over him while his back is on the chair here. Mace man. knows how seriously he has to take this man, Sumanon. I I am amazed. I am impressed with Mace Atlas. I normally am not impressed with Mace Atlas when it comes to his Phantom Thief antics. But I, for once, I am impressed. He took the initiative. He know. Oh God, he knows what it is going to take. And now off of our announce table goes the head of the sumo wrestler. He knows. Ooh, went for the that kick. In order to. Uh, no matter what enemy you face, you have to strike first. Strike first and strike hard. And that's what Mace Atlas did. But it looks like Sumanon is trying to turn the tables. Nope. Yeah, so far, Sumanon, the thing that we predicted, perhaps the, the weight advantage, too much. Oh, now he's going to put... Oh, I thought he was going to go for a camel clutch or something, but no, he just used his weight to crush the back of Mace Atlas. Yes, is this a ball count anywhere? Yeah, here they go. <laughs> that could be a pin cover. I mean, a pin cover. Anywhere. Into the crowd. Yep. Right oh, <laughs> Mace Atlas just sends Suman on right back over. Not going to take anything from the challenger tonight. He's here to fight. We don't know if he can be successful against Suman on, but he's at least going to bring the fight, Julius. He's going to do whatever it takes to bring down this sumo wrestler. He is doing what he can. Oh, here's the cover. Oh. Uh, come on, of the the referee. Referee. what are you doing? Position here. One, two, kick out. Kick out. Oh man, ref out of position there. Simonon. What can he do? I mean, it looks like he's going to try tossing oh, around the cover. phantom feet. One, two, kick out. That's not enough to put away the phantom thief. Certainly not. These two are going to have to wear the... Just, they're going to have to wear the life out of each other. Yep, clawing, I mean, clawing collarbone out. Yeah, it could just be that the referee doesn't want to get mowed down by these two beating the snot out of each other. I don't blame him. He's been mowed down enough. <laughs> the referee may well be collateral damage when it comes to some of these matches. You know how brutal they get. If he gets in their way... They're not going to care. We already incurred the wrath of our tag teams earlier tonight. Saman so now, yep. now pick it. Oh, strong slam. Nice. But Mace Atlas kicking him away. Nope, kicking him into the cover here. One. Oh, kick quick. Out. Quick as heck kick out. Simon so is not ready to go out just yet. Goes for that Whoa. kick again. Sumanon avoids it a second time, but Mace Atlas a little too quick. Throws him into the barricade here. Goes for the oh, tilt a whirl throw. Yeah, throws him into the barricade. Nice. Ethan's gonna keep hitting him against that barricade. Yeah. Oh no, but uh, never mind. Ethan just tossed over. Talking about fair play. Oh! oh just sits on him. Oh, that has got to made him winded. That's just pure One, weight. Two. Kick out. Oh boy, Mace Atlas kicks out of that. Jawbreaker here by Mace Atlas. Goes for the Huracurana, manages to hit it here. Love how these two have not, uh, not been in the ring since the bell rang. They just, uh, I, I guess it became really personal between them really quickly. Yeah, with Mace Atlas taking the first strike right there. 
Indeed. Oh, Sumanan breaks out of the attempted hold. Goes for a bit. Oh, big shot, but Mace Atlas cut him off at the pass. Yep, and he's getting, getting pumped from the crowd. God dang it, stop showboating. Trying Focus get... on your enemy. He's got him. Mace Atlas now measuring Sumanan for, I don't know, would he try the Destinies outside the ring here? No, he's going for something else. Oh! Is that a... a like a shiny wizard-like maneuver almost. It was a straight knee to the Ooh. face. And Mace... Was that it? That was it! Mace Atlas did it! He, he defeated him! Out, he defeated him outside of the ring with a shining wizard! He actually pulled it off! He just knocked out Sumanan with that knee! Was that a shout the majority of you call me though? Was that saying that may happen to you? That is the fit title defense! He can he can challenge Midori at any time! That is five, the magic number for Mace Atlas. Julius just told you what it's all about, but holy crap. Oh, Mace Atlas yeah. is sitting on death's doorstep. Will he be able? When will he cast in on Midori? Is Midori, you know, he's been having fun in the sun, but does he suddenly have his next challenger on deck here? In Mace Atlas, I'm Blaine Phoenix. And I'm Julius Stable. We'll see you for the next episode of Ascension, everybody. Woo!